Sword? Check. Armor? Check. Noble birth? Meh, I think so. You find that strange? Well, you should. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game nights. For this list, we've selected the most valiant and well-known video game nights, but there can only be one entry per franchise, and they have to have originated from video games, and actually be some form of knight. So, Batman, even if people call you the Dark Knight, you're out. There are also some big time spoilers included, so you've been warned. <laughs> Number 10, Sir Daniel Fortescue, Medieval. Sir Daniel isn't your typical knight. Knights are usually courageous, but Sir Daniel is a huge coward. <laughs> knights are supposed to accomplish valiant deeds, but Sir Dan was struck down by the first arrow in a war. <laughs> Knights are supposed to be alive, but Sir Dan is, well, he's a skeleton who can rip off his arm and beat up zombies with it like a club. Luckily, Sir Daniel has the opportunity to redeem his unspectacular life by overthrowing the evil sorcerer Zarok and restoring peace to his realm. <laughs> Number nine, Cecil Harvey, Final Fantasy IV. Well then, prepare for landing, men. Lord. Cecil Harvey, the protagonist of Final Fantasy IV, is a rare example of a man who purposely rebels against his knightly duties. Vanquish the Dark Knight. You and he are one no more. Forsaking his training as a feared Dark Knight, Cecil becomes a paladin in order to rally against his former king, the King of Baron, who commanded Cecil to steal the legendary crystals from their resting places. King's orders or no, there's no forgiving what we've done. A man of great conviction and strength, Cecil constantly grapples between his duty to his land and his moral convictions. Both light and darkness, give me the guidance I need. Thus! Uh! But, like most good knights, always ends up making the more honorable of choices. You're a good man, Cecil. Number 8, Frog, Chrono Trigger. Formerly a squire to the royal knight Cyrus, Frog was sent spiraling into exile and depression when he failed to protect his lord and was transformed into a giant talking man frog. Possessing the ability to wield the legendary blade Masamune, Frog becomes a powerful knight in his own right during the quest to avenge his fallen comrade and protect the queen. Frog joins Chrono when the spiky haired protagonist and his party get sent back into medieval times and proves to be a chivalrous and dependable ally in the quest against Lavos. Number seven, Esbern, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. No, that's not me, I'm not Esbern. I don't know what you're talking about. As one of the last surviving members of the Blades, Esbern has the unenviable task of protecting Skyrim and its rightful ruler from unspeakable evil. There's no time to lose, so we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern is the Blade's archivist, and has spent much of his life studying the prophecy predicting the return of the dragons and of Alduin, the world eater. The dragon who devours both the living and the dead. Seeing the prophecy unfolding before his very eyes, Esbern takes the dragonborn, that's you, under his tutelage to prepare him for the war at hand. The Blade's archives held so many secrets, I was only able to save a few scraps. A loyal and noble soul, Esbern does whatever it takes to save Skyrim including sacrificing his own life. The dragon is upon me, fire and darkness descending like a thunderbolt. Number six, Krom. Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> Krom is a knight, but he's also a prince. Despite his royal heritage, Krom is a man of the people and does whatever necessary to defend the citizens of his land. Lisa, you better stand back. <laughs> when the Plegian army begins amassing troops, Krom, with the help of his loyal fighters, the Shepherds, begins a resistance effort. Krom wields the legendary Falcon, a mighty, unbreakable sword that can cut through most enemies with ease. Where did you get that? There's no way. A talented fighter, loyal companion, and honorable man, Krom exemplifies all of the qualities of a great leader. Give me your hand. Number five, Dirk. The Daring, Dragon's Lair series. A fantastic example of a classic knight. 
Dirk the Daring is tasked with saving Princess Daphne from the clutches of the evil dragon Singe and the wizard Mordrock. You want Daphne? <laughs> Go get her! Despite the fact that all of his fellow knights were killed in their attempts to save the princess, Dirk forges on through precarious dungeons and dangerous situations with great courage. <laughs> Though sometimes he might seem like a little goofy and uncoordinated, luck and bravery always win out in the end, if you have enough quarters. <laughs> Number 4. Shovel Knight, Shovel Knight Shovel Knight and Shield Knight were lovers, friends, and companions who traveled around the land together, searching for adventure and treasure. After an evil curse rips the two apart, Shovel Knight resigns to a life of solitude. Now, with the Enchantress holding power over the land, Shovel Knight must set out, break the curse, and discover the whereabouts of his long-lost love. A shovel isn't the most conventional weapon for a knight, but then again, we wouldn't think it would be your first choice for a pogo stick either, now would it? Number 3. Siegfried. Soul Calibur series. I'm done with nightmares. Siegfried is arguably the main protagonist of the Soul Calibur franchise. He seeks to claim the legendary blade, Soul Edge, in an effort to avenge his murdered father and bring those that killed him to justice. I will not rest until I reap vengeance for my father! After claiming the Soul Edge, Siegfried became possessed by the evil sword's powers, transforming him into a murderous Dark Knight known as Nightmare. Totally not like Darth Vader. What happens is an epic tale of good versus evil, and Siegfried attempts to wrestle free from the grips of the Soul Edge while redeeming his own troubled past. With this, it ends. Number 2. Meta Knight. Kirby Franchise. Meta Knight is really a mysterious dude. His motives are usually unknown, and he hides his face behind a mask. You speak as if we have met. Meta Knight controls a vast army, a powerful airship, and is one of the most deadly swordsmen around, wielding the blade Galaxia. My name is Galaxia. Only the most powerful of knights may wield my ancient magic. Though he is often Kirby's rival, Meta Knight does not lack for honor. When you fight Meta Knight in the Kirby games, he usually offers Kirby a sword of his own. It would, after all, be terribly dishonorable for a surprisingly Spanish knight to slay an unarmed pink sphere creature, even if he's rather spherical himself. I am not afraid to face you. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Your friend's soul has been sent to the underworld. You're going to have to find her. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Number 1. Sir Arthur, Ghosts and Goblins series. What happens when the evil Lord Loki kidnaps the princess? Why, my good man, you take up your trusty lance and charge headlong through legions of dastardly beings. I will not forsake my duties! Sir Arthur is a noble knight, out to accomplish knightly tasks, like destroying Satan, ridding the realm of evil, and saving the lovely blue-haired Guinevere. Plus, Arthur's got great taste in boxer shorts, an underrated trait in most knights. You lack discipline, oh foreign knight! If you play Ghost and Goblins, you'll get many chances to see those boxer shorts, because you'll most likely be losing your armor a lot. Do you agree with our list? You must be blind. <laughs> Which knight did thee wish to look upon? For more chivalrous top tens published every day, charge over and subscribe to Watch Mojo. Com. My life is not for your taking.